it's dawn at a remote loch in Argyll. Spring drifts across this ancient landscape. New life is evident throughout the land and seas. As the tide ebbs and flows, the hooded crows scratch a living on the shoreline. Using gravity and the loch bed, they strive to crack open the exposed shellfish for a tasty meal. Nearby, a mammalian hunter slinks amongst the kelp. A female otter. But she's not alone. She has a cub who's fast approaching maturity and old enough to be pushing the parental boundaries. Unlike their inshore cousins, these otters are mainly active during the day thanks to the abundance of food. Even so, regular tussles for fishing rights erupt. It won't be long before she'll be leaving to fend for herself. Down on all this activity, the ultimate predator and our largest bird of prey in the UK, the white-tailed eagle. With a huge wingspan of up to 2.5 meters and a hooked yellow meat cleaver for a beak, this is a spectacular raptor. Ripping nesting material with talons that can grow up to four and a half centimeters long, this adult is preparing for new arrivals. These eagles mate for life, breeding in the same territory year after year. A juvenile from two seasons ago is encroaching on our pair. But like the otter cub, he's too old to be hanging around with mum and dad. It's not long before he's chased away. But whilst they appear to be masters of all they survey, their dominance of the loch doesn't ensure breeding success. Up to around 30% of white-tailed eagle nests fail. And sadly, this year, this couple's efforts have produced eggs that came to nothing. Evidence that life can be tough in this glorious landscape. Such a shame, isn't it, when you see such a big majestic bird like that failing, but that's nature for you. And they reckon that white-tailed eagles in the wild, well, about a third of the nests fail due to natural causes every year. And this weekend, I was actually privileged, extremely lucky, to accompany a good friend of mine to a white-tailed eagle nest two hours away to help him ring the chick. What an honour. It's only when you're this close you realise just how big a bird it is and just how massive a bill it's got.